Through the years of Minnesota Vikings history, most notably the last decade and also most notably, or second most notably, the Kirk Cousins tenure, what has been the constant with the Minnesota Vikings? Yes, losing and bad quarterback play, just kidding, sorry Kirk, cheap shot. Uh, the offensive line, the horrible offensive line, especially in pass blocking, it's been bad, there's no doubt about that. It just simply has been real bad. And did it get worse since last season? Now last season, it was bad. I'm gonna keep saying the word bad because that's just what it was. It wasn't good. If you watched any games, you know that a lot of the, you know, Kirk Cousins didn't have a great year, but neither did the offensive line. Kirk needs a good O-line to succeed. I think that's proven. He's a pocket quarterback who doesn't really scramble. You need a good line. And here were the five with the most snaps last season. At tackle, Brian O'Neill ranked 24th among 79 offensive tackles according to PFF. Ezra Cleveland at guard uh, ranks 28th among 80 guards. Garrett Bradbury ranked 25th among 36 in among centers. Dakota Dozier, everyone's favorite, ranked 77th among 80 offensive guards. And Riley Reef ranked 38th among 79 offensive guards. Now, if you don't like PFF, cool. If you do, also cool. I use it because it's the most simple way to judge offensive line, I think. But yeah, that's how it was. Now, what is it entering this season, though? The mainstays, Brian O'Neill, Ezra Cleveland, Garrett Bradbury, they're still here. But then you get to Dakota Dozier and Riley Reef, the other, the other side of the offensive line. That had to be remade. Dakota Dozier was literally about the worst ever, and Riley Reef was cut. You can't bring Dozier back, right? Well, they did. Brought him back on a short veteran deal. Alright, whatever, you know, that's fine. You got you do you gotta do what you gotta do, just depth guy, I guess. Nope, he's starting in practice, starting in camp, competing for a job. Who is he competing for a job with? Well, Ole Udo, of course, the tackle. They're competing for the guard spot. Who's not competing for the guard spot? Third round pick, Wyatt Davis. He's dealing with some lingering injuries, dealing with just some horrible underperformance. Jeez. Yeah, just hasn't been doing good in practice, and the Vikings don't seem to like him or trust him right now. So it's Ole Udo and Dakota Dozier competing for the guard spot. That's not an upgrade. I mean, maybe Ole Udo is an upgrade, but like, he's a tackle. Maybe he'll be good at guard, but again, that's not his position. Then you get to tackle. Riley Reef was cut. He was pretty good. Once again, 38th among 79 offensive tackles, according to PFF. He's average. They now, what did they do? They drafted Christian Derrissaw in the first round of the NFL draft. Well, why did he fall to 23? Injuries may have something to do with it, as he is really just not playing. He's getting like special team reps right now in practice, but that's about it. I would bet that he's not starting week one. Maybe he, everything turns around, he's doing great, but right now, I don't see it. So, it's going to be Rashad Hill, most likely. Wow. So, here's the line right now. Brian O'Neill, Ezra Cleveland, Garrett Bradbury, Ole Udo, Rashad Hill. With Christian Derrissaw, Dakota Dozier, Wyatt Davis, all kind of ready to step in soon. How good will Derrissaw be when he gets here? I'd say his upside is around what Riley Reef gave us last year. Pro I mean, upside for this year. He's going to be good down the future. I think he's going to be a franchise left tackle, hopefully, but... First year, coming off injuries, not really getting a ton of practice. Probably Riley Reef expectations. So then it's just, the line is very similar to what it was last year. Did you upgrade off of Dakota Dozier? No. I mean, sure. You got a tackle over there, Ole Udo. Doesn't do much for me. You do, it is what it is. Be very good. He's going to get a little better. Ezra Cleveland coming into his second year. He'll probably get a little better. Garrett Bradbury wasn't good. 25th out of 36 centers. Probably going to get a little bit better. God damn it is loud outside today. But yeah, overall, this team just year after year, the incompetence with the offensive line, it just seems like this regime is never going to, well, get it. They're never going to go, all right, this line needs to improve. Let's just look at what the Chiefs did last year. They traded a first round pick for Orlando Brown Jr. to play tackle. Then they brought in Joe Thune because their quarterback restructured his contract to allow for Joe Thune to come in. Then they signed Austin Blythe. That's three moves that upgrade the offensive line. The Vikings brought in Christian Derrissa and, uh, uh, that's about it. Wyatt Davis? Does that do anything for you? Not really. They re-signed Dakota Dozier. It's just, year after year, we go into it saying, all right, this year they'll upgrade the offensive line. This is the year they'll finally upgrade the offensive line. And they're just not going to. It's just not a thing. I thought they did for a while. I was thinking, all right, they got a first round pick and a third round pick with a very good upside. But they don't like him at camp. He just hasn't been good, apparently, so... That is what it is, but Kirk Cousins, once again, will have the excuse of offensive lines. Once the Vikings go 10-7 and 7 and lose in the first round of the playoffs, they'll have 
well, the offensive line wasn't good. We'll upgrade it this offseason. And will they? No. They never will. But uh, that's my rant for today. My offensive line rant. The th bad things get worse. It just didn't, didn't help. Nothing they did worked. Oh well. That's about all I got though. Peace.